dreamers and welcome to the space. My name is Nikita Antoine and today we'll be doing a framework session to see how your day will unfold. So we have the devil coming out here. Okay, this is a little fascinating. So I actually did a little reading right before this and I ended up having to delete it. But this is the exact same card that came out with that. So there was something in that message that wanted to be said. And what it was talking about was understanding the value of this energy, understanding the value of what the devil plays, how the, the role of this energy plays a part in your life and understanding the value of it. It's almost like there's something in the collective that we're not seeing about this devil energy. And essentially what it is, is that when this energy is spotlit, we are able to, to allow ourselves to either align with it or we can make the decision to not align with it. And, and in doing so, it's almost like we are able to express our free will and our choice. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the five of wands. And, you know, classically, the five of wands talks about conflict, conflict in a conflict, competition, those types of things where people are not, it, that's the thing. It's like people are not in alignment and it's what it's referring to is that that is spotlighting this energy here so that you and I and us as a collective can decide whether or not it's like, I don't know. I feel as though one of these individuals in this, it's like this one right here. They're discovering that, wait a second, this actually isn't good for us. It's almost like the energy of this devil cast some type of illusion and puts all of us into this, this conflict state. And it, it's like, it takes someone who can see the value of this so that it can change the entire situation. It's, it's a very fascinating and almost like counterintuitive type of energy. So on the split, we have the two of cups and the purpose for this is to create harmony. And that's what this is. It's like the value of the devil is to actually create harmony by creating the disharmony. Because in order to create harmony, you need something like you need like a chaotic energy to recognize that it's chaos. And because it's now being categorized as chaos or disharmony or conflict or uh, competition, something of those, that type of nature, it's like, wait a second. Okay, now, now that we see this, we can put it back in order. We can harmonize again. We can come back together. And instead of, instead of making it such a, competition based focus it's like we could just play this game type of thing it, it's it's coming through as taking a more light-hearted view of the devil energy it's very fascinating so let's look at the overall energy this is this is slightly slightly a strange message, but we're going with it. So, and for the overall energy, we have the artist. And this is referring to an observer. Okay, this is fascinating. Because this is not coming through as anyone in the collective. This is coming through as like someone outside of the collective that is observing all of us. Because I, I see this tree here as like a symbol of Midgard or um, like our earthly plane, all of us. This is all of us here on this earthly plane. 
this is another individual that is outside of us. I don't know exactly what this entails, but you can see how, or at least hopefully you can see how, it's almost like being observed, well, being observed from both sides, being observed from below and from above. It's like our collective is being viewed, which kind of makes sense. I mean, we are being viewed in a sense. And there's, there are, oh gosh, this is kind of bringing up like spiritual warfare. That's fascinating. I usually don't get messages like this. So we have this devil energy that is creating a lot of conflict. And then we also have this artist here. The artist, the one who, really they're, they're just an observer. They're just an observer that is making note of everything. It's kind of giving me a sense of noticing who is naughty and who is nice. That type of thing. It's got this like Santa energy to it. So this one is making a note. So the overall energy is making note of who is being naughty and who is being nice. And then also like creating harmony within disharmony. It's a very fascinating message. So as always, this message was brought to you by the Psychic Broadcasting Service and is made possible by dreamers just like you. So make sure to contribute. If you have anything to like remark about this reading, definitely do so because I'm very fascinated in it and I would love to hear your opinions on it as well. And uh, if you like these daily messages, definitely give me a follow and more will be soon to come.